Hey, Ian. Yeah, 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 hit it. Your tweet URL is incorrect. Oh, God, what did I put in there? I don't know. I didn't look. Uh-oh. Welcome to Now Kiss, the we're, Rhythm Cafe, where we're going to make clocks kiss. Where Ian has to go make sure that there's a good, that everything's okay. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. How have you been, Heather, in this show? Huh, okay. Spaces in the URL are bad times. Oh, well, F that. I'm what? not fixing that. What? Let me see. It's just loading. Ready, run. <laughs> You're all here. Uh, Welcome, guys, well, to the show. Oh, my God. Look at my shirt, Moare. <laughs> <laughs> if I move this way very slowly, oh, it flashes. Oh, I can see what's going on. Oh, do we have not all the lights on? We have all the lights on. But like, my. it seems a little dark, but not like weirdly bad dark. Wow, yeah. My you shirt definitely, is terrible. You have, yeah, you have a shirt I can't see. You have one of those. Yep. Uh, well, today we are back on the Switch and we are playing more of the rhythm games that we are want to play. Wow, I'm just going to fix this too. Fix that mic. Yep. We, we were a little rushed on the cafe this morning. We had, yeah. This morning. I, I I had to go out and buy uh, buy baguettes because we're having uh, we're having roast beef for dinner. I'm finally gonna cook that prime rib and then uh, we're gonna slice it up and then put it in some fancy baguettes because I'm making an au jus sauce with uh, shallots. I'm gonna have fancy beef dip. And I have no excuse except I was mad, so I just hung out in another room in the dark for a while. Mm -hmm. So remind me at six p.m. to pick up horseradish. That'll be my reminder just for me. Right as the stream's ending. Yep. Good, good. Um, yeah, should we should we put ourselves in the corner? Yes, let's put ourselves. Let's put baby in the corner and let's uh, look at this simulator of clocks. Now, I'm gonna flip. I've got good. I've, I've got some good experience with clocks. Yeah. And I'm sure that you've got. Uh, you you've had pretty extensive clock experience as well. I I read them daily. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, uh, I'm familiar with the analog and the digital styles. Oh, okay. Did you own a couple clocks? I, uh, I had a lot of watches. Okay. Sorry. No, that's all right. It would be just all sorts of moon base. So you mean, you know what that means? Sorry, the moon Tokyo moon. Treat showed up uh, the other day. Ah, uh, I was <laughs> wondering where, where, where the, the uh, drink had gone in that box. Yeah. I huh. put it in the fridge to get nice and cold and forgot about <laughs> Is it. Is it good? <laughs> it's very nice. Yes. <laughs> it's... Wait, no, it's Fruit Punch. I just realized what that flavor is. It's Fruit yeah, Punch. Yeah, it's Fruit Punch. It, you know what it tastes like to me? Is It tastes like not nearly strong enough wine. Oh, yeah, that's not fermented at all. Yeah. Let that ferment for a few months and you'll be golden. Uh, I, I was a collector of fashion watches. Oh. Specifically ones made for 12-year-olds because yep, my yep. wrists are thin and therefore I have to have... I can't do the metal ones because I take all the links out and they and they still don't fit. Did, did you have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, swatches or? Uh, swatches were cool. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of uh, the kids' Timex pieces, mm -hmm. which had like the fun wristbands with like lizards and stuff on them. I think I can count the number of watches I've owned, but the favorites were the first one that I got as a uh, as a prize from a cereal collecting mm -hmm. cereal box mm -hmm. stuff. It was a Tony the Tiger, uh, black and yellow uh, tiger striped wristwatch. That was super thin on the top because it was digital, but it still had analog hands. Oh, cool, so it was like cool. Really cool. I really liked uh, stopwatches. Oh, yeah. So I got really into digital watches. Oh. I, I think, like, the Timex Rush is still one of my favorites. I was going to ask if you did own an Iron Man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I worked in, uh, I worked at the jewelry counter in a couple of places, so that's. Like I've sold a lot of watches mm -hmm. as well, so you you find all the ones that are really cool. I think the Iron Man, may, I, I may call that the the most iconic watch of my generation. And I say my generation because directly after that came the, the Casio G Shocks, and those really changed the game mm. in terms of gigantic chunky watches. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, I know I have, I think I still have a um, one watch that like, I've never been able to get rid of. Um, you remember those charm bracelets that were really popular yes. with the like links that moved in and out? Yep. Yeah, I've got a watch that has a bunch of those with no charms in it because F that. And the only reason I've kept the watch is because it's got a Sailor Moon background. Ah. And I don't think it's official in any way capacity. But I have it and I refuse to get rid of it. If it's charm bracelet based, I believe that it's a super knockoff. <laughs> 
Uh, I should see if I could get some of those link terms with the like scout symbols and I mean, stuff, though. That would be really cool. The world is about ready for a comeback of those, I think. But today we're talking about clocks because we're going to watch, we're going to watch, we're going to play Clock Simulator. We're going to play with uh, virtual clocks, apparently. I have no idea. I know nothing so about this game. I found this game by going through the eShop and the title came up and mm -hmm. I, I clicked on it because I was like, what, what does that mean? And it said it was a rhythm game and I was like, well, I don't want to look at it anymore. We're going to play it and find out if it's really a rhythm game. And also, I just want to say we're playing a game called Clock Simulator. That's great, because look, uh, looking at the icon, I know nothing more than the fact that it looks like a bad iOS game. Yep. Or bad uh, iOS something. I know nothing about this game. And what, Gal Metal is right there next to it, just, you know, taunting us with the, okay, no. Just start. Start the game? Start software. Start software, yes. Start software. Whoa. whoa, whoa. It's cool to play. Oh yes, I'm aware that there are some like square pigs or something because I saw like a brief screenshot. Cool. I, I mean, guess we learning to play. play seems like a good idea. Yep. You are the clock. Okay. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> Clocks don't yell at McDonald's. <laughs> I'm 78% certain that at some point the McDonald's Corporation has marketed a clock that does, as an alarm, just yell McDonald's. Advance every second. Be precise. Oh no. This seems like a hard job. I'm glad that they automated this one right out of the gate. Is it just me or is that? Yes, that hand is changing size. Or is it? I don't think it's changing size at all. I'm confused by the shadows. That, no, that hand is definitely getting shorter. Oh, yeah. Or maybe the dots are just further away. Ooh. Maybe there's a weird perspective shift going on. Wait. You made a whole minute happen. I did. You know, at this rate, you're gonna hit five minutes faster than the game I'm actually playing <laughs> at home. Longest second. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. No, no replaying that tutorial. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we've learned to play. I think a game of shadows was what you were I playing. I think you definitely need to try a game of shadows. I just need the one yeah, button, right. right? Take your time, time your actions. Corvus, I, uh, I looked at the leather books earlier, but I have not had a chance to pull them all down. Let me double check. How is this different from the tutorial? Yeah, um, it isn't. Oh, you there's no bar telling you how you're doing. I don't know if I can screw up, can I? Ooh, the hand gets shorter when you're bad at it. Oh, that makes like, sense. Like, watch this. Yep. Right? Like, I think the, it gets shorter more the amount of time that you're off. Yeah, interesting. Okay. That's interesting we're not doing it again. <laughs> nope. Last uh, pig standing. I guess so. This is a versus game. Eh. 
Okay, I'm ready. Prepare to jump. Prepare to. I, I'm ready to jump. Jump. What way? <laughs> Woohoo! Two, I think. Yeah, you should be. Woohoo! Ah, yeah, I, I'm misjumping, is what's going on. Woohoo! <laughs> I think this is gonna be a very short game. I think so. How long to play said this was like. An hour and a half, but I figured like we would screw up or there would be more to it, and like, so it would take us two hours. It, like, I just can see how this could be a game that takes two hours to play. <laughs> hey, you won! Clock fight. Clock fight. Got a clock with a fight. Yes, that is that's correct. I am ready to play. Five mistakes will be forgiven. <laughs> At least it's accurate. Now these mistakes will be for all of your life. game except it's two foot. Yeah. No. No. One more time. One more one clock more, fight. You want one more one clock more fight? Clock you, fight. Want a, you want another clock fight? You I mean, want to have a clock fight? Yeah, I want a clock fight. fight. Clock fight. Only five mistakes, Ian. On that one. <laughs> See, when people say things like clock fight, I I don't know. My I, I picture two clocks standing off against each other mm -hmm. or smashing into or, one another. Or a fight on a clock, as this happens often in the movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, well, and like every comic book. Yeah. Every comic book's got to have at least one clock fight. Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. Also, classic mm -hmm. clock fight. Classic clock fight. Uh, the, uh, the, the vulture. Hid in the yeah. clock tower in oh. Spider-Man. Oh yeah, yeah. Classic. Yeah. The, classic. The, oh, the, the fight between the, those two old English dudes who uh, tried to make a, uh, a, a a accurate clock that could work at sea without a pendulum, so they could mm -hmm. win the mm -hmm. the prize for longitude. Classic um, clock fight. Uh, Batman has a character called the Clock King, mm -hmm. and so practic basically that's just clock fight, no matter who's he, who's who he's involved with. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the uh, the the Catriel Layton game has a thing about a clock where the oh. clock hands go missing. Okay. So that's basically a clock fight. Cinderella, kind of a clock fight. Different kind of clock fight. More like a time management yeah, clock fight, but definitely a yeah. clock fight. It's a man versus world clock fight, in yeah. that sense. Man versus clock. Rather than clock versus clock. Yes. There's, there's fewer clock versus clocks. Mm -hmm. It's 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 not big in literature. Yeah. Right? Hunchback yep. of Notre oh. Dame. Yep, yep. They're big clock time. Very, very classic clock. <laughs> Current time in the moon base is is a nice time for a clock fight. Yep, it's yep. good. Very very classic kind of time for clocks. Thank you, that guy five seven five Castle Cagliostro. Yes. Epic clock yes, fight. Yes, epic co clock fight there. Yeah. Um, uh, the term to like clock someone out. Mm, that's yes. in every fight. Clean so that's, so that's like a clock fight. Clean someone's clock. Is that like? You're, you're talking about like the aggressive kind, though, not the one where you're actually being nice and cleaning. Yeah, that, that that would be that would be a, a clock uh, assistant, sorry, a, a, a clock uh, 
paying it forward. Yeah, yeah. Not a clock fight. <laughs> Gotta pay forward that clock. <laughs> right because you can never turn back time you gotta fight forward that clock god we are making some very very good mid 90s uh like rock rap lyrics uh, you gotta look forward to fight that clock you gotta clean the clock it's not a clock fight guy uh time always steadily marching forward uh <laughs> tense into the aliens sure there are other games to this okay good I only okay. need both your controllers back for that. Come on. There we go. Press the corresponding button to smite aliens. <laughs> Alright. You're a wizard, Air. <laughs> Ether. Well, I was a wizard for two seconds. <laughs> it's the longest two seconds of my life. <laughs> so. What? <laughs> okay. Is there a timing that I'm not getting? I am pushing the A button. Yeah, you sure are. Oh, I see. Y for aliens, A for uh, UFOs. Oh. Not, it's not a side thing. Okay, I understand it now. Do you want to give it a shot? Sure. Anima! <laughs> if you keep spamming the wrong button, he just goes in circles. Okay. A. A for UFOs, Y for yeah. antennae. Well, I think this is definitely not one of those nefarious jar wizards I've heard about. This is definitely a different kind of wizard. I'm a man. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're going to play the fragility of time now. Five mistakes will be forgiven. Would I break the chat out of the jar? Only if chat asked me to. Unless it's Adam, because he said specifically not to ever break him out of the jar, and he deserves to be in it if you see him one and one. So, if Adam's in there with you, then I can't. But if it's just chat and you ask, then I will. How is this different than clock fight? One person. Fight against time. An impending doom. The end. <laughs> Only had five seconds wow. of it not even to explain myself. This is like... There's something good about this? It's it's XYAV time. It sure is. Zyab. Are you ready to zyab? I have to avoid obstacles by pushing these buttons. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna wipe that pig off your. <laughs> forgot that. Shy, Owen? Thank you. I forgot that uh, Nintendo controllers are f arranged left. Red, to be read left to right is what I mean to say. I, it's what I was just, like, you only get, like, really about a second to, like, do the response before yep. you get into the thing, and I'm like, right, I have to remember where these things are. I have an easier time with the PlayStation controller because I have the color code memorized mm -hmm. more than I do the, uh, the actual buttons, and so I just have an easier time with it. Yeah, I'm just, like, it made sense to me back in the days of the 
the, the original Nintendo when there was just A and B? I mean, I don't... I don't think about which button is the A button or the B button in a lot of games I play. I know which one does lets me do the jumping and which yeah. one lets me do the the zapping or whatever the other thing is that I get to do. So I don't I don't think about it in the nope. context of like, oh which button is whatever. I just know I can I I can't even do that. Oh the spirits of time. I, can what? you summon all five? I I believe so. There are five spirits. Wait, is this just not clock fight again? I wonder what the uh, speed run current. <laughs> I mean, I d think that depends on what your goal of the speedrun is. Is it to get out of the game as fast as possible? Because I tell you, I think I'm winning on some of those levels, if that's the case. And there's something that's coming up from the ground. Like, you're, well, you're supposed to summon all five spirits, so... That marshmallow is probably just a spirit again. It's, it's, isn't the land of the Kami? There aren't spirits in everything. <laughs> I didn't say there were spirits and everything, I just said that's a marshmallow. Well, spirits of time are marshmallows. With with eyes, maybe. It's true. It's hard to tell until they get up a little further. As time continues to tick forward, marshmallows become harder. old Infinity Pro capture card a bit ago because I figured you'd put to good use. I was told it's in Ian's hands. Uh, was that... Did that get to surge in some point? I don't know. That may have been what happened with that. That's uh, being put in a server to... Ooh, I think I... Did you win? Or did you just, like, run out of... I, I think I just ran out of hand. Well, that's okay. Yeah, if I... I am more forced... If, if that's the card it is, it's uh, going to be put into a... Uh, into our home ser streaming server to uh, capture camera action. Because mm. currently we're using uh, Sparko Cam to take information off of a 7D. But, yep, then through Surge, then that's... Yes! Oh, then thank you, I am... I am Morthos. Thank you so much for that. I didn't know that. I thought that that came from the uh, surge. Yeah, we're just trying to find the best way to uh, get it onto the board because currently the board that we're using doesn't have enough slots, but I think I can move boards around in the stuff I've got at home. So, fun times. Spirits of time just hang around waiting for people to slowly move clocks forward. I mean, th that's the thing about clocks is that they move forward on their own. Well, only because we automated that during the factory industry industrial revolution. That's the words I'm actually looking for. <laughs> Before, people just had to like move clocks around second by second. It's true. Just it? like all other manual tasks. It was a terrible job. Yeah, people didn't really think people should get paid for it. They were afraid that people were altering their time. Mm -hmm. Well, taking home time for themselves, which is where we get the phrase time theft from. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I'd forgotten about that. It's when you're working for someone else and you literally steal their time. There's a movie about that, isn't there? Really? Or like a sci-fi story about um, the currency being other people's time? I that feel you like... you can, like, transfer to other people and, like, people, like... Well, bank it. I feel like I, stuff. I, I, I feel like there's a movie done on it, but like, um, 
It, it might have just been a, a sci-fi novel. Because I, I I know of uh, there I know some sci-fi movies I've seen where. Out of Time, starring Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Where you're, you you have like a clock in your wrist, and that counts down to the moment you meet your, your forever partner. But uh, if that actually exists and it's a Justin Timberlake movie, then uh, good to know what it is. I'm just thinking of Time Bandits. Yeah, like I think it is a, it's an idea in several yeah. uh, fictional stories. Oh, look, follow the rhythm. Maybe this will be more interesting. Go hand in hand with time. I... Okay, I, is that really a first game date rule? Like, game, I feel like that's a third time play. Th th third date is his... Hand-holding? With time? With time? It depends. I mean, time, time is a big commitment. It, it depends on... Uh, Time's a huge commitment, yeah. Ian. Oh, it is. And, and this, I feel like, might be just going too far. This clock has too many hands. Oh no. What if I catch up? Nope, nope, that was me. Heather, five of his mistakes will be forgiven by time. Time is not forgiving any more of your mistakes. This relationship is harsh. Having to stay in step all the time. Oh, I fell behind time. And then it got rid of me. This is, uh... I feel like... Okay, despite the fact that some of this stuff is fairly easy to figure out, their tutorial section showed us how to do one thing. That, admittedly, seems to actually work with the majority of these games. But it doesn't really work with some of the other ones. My fundraising progress bar is getting shorter. <laughs> Don't fall behind time. Time will leave you behind. It is it is a harsh partner. Time can sleep on the couch. <laughs> feel like your time is running out. And Rhythm Cafe got lazy. <laughs> Rhythm Heaven, I mean. So <laughs> we're still working hard. I was going to say, I mean, I know I didn't do any research on this game to make sure it was any good, but, like, like I didn't you, expect it to be good in the first place with you, the game like Clock Simulator. Do you people at home understand how hard it is, how hard we work to make these games entertaining for you? <laughs> At least we're, get, we're clocking in with our puns, huh? Oh, yeah. No, I tried to put as many as I could in the going online screen. Sorry, we were showing a bit about that. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to show that. Nope. No one needs to see that. Not until dusk. <laughs> Not Make until dusk. the day last longer. No! <laughs> I don't want to. That's the last thing I want. <laughs> I don't want to. I want to say fully two-thirds of my day are just trying to find ways to make it go faster until I can sleep again. <laughs> Jesus, this is the worst video game. Do you have any idea how many weeks I've been playing the longest five minutes? <laughs> Do I need a day to go longer? No. Do you, you know, the other game I've been playing, 428, happens within a 10-hour time span, and I've been playing that one for weeks, too. <laughs> I don't need to make the day last longer in any other games. <laughs> If I don't do anything, does that count? Hmm. Well, it makes the music keep happening. Are you doing that? Yes. Okay. I feel like I'm just making the number go up. But I don't know what I was doing. At all. I think you just need to... <laughs> Oh, I bet if you do it at the right time, dusk does, dusk only happens when you move it forward incorrectly. Oh. Just don't move it forward. Mm. <laughs> cool! 
11 seconds. I don't think I can stop time. I don't think I'm a time wizard. I don't think, no. No. You need to go back to uh, to time Hogwarts. You want to try time? I would like to try time. Because I don't understand how to make day longer. I definitely know how to make it shorter, it seems. The chat has some really good puns going on. Uh, that guy says this really grinds my gears. Uh, Ignatius Pants says, at first I had a minute amount of enthusiasm for this game, but now I'm having second thoughts. It's very good. <sighs> Quote 140. The latest panelist tells me that stopping time doesn't have as many benefits as you might think. I'm pretty pretty sure that stopping time has no benefits. Mm-hmm. You gotta deal with that uh, that water mohawk up your butt. I like my day. It was two seconds long. Much better. Very very quick. If only I could get that going on at work with like the work actually getting done. There we go. Cool. Well, your day is a minute and a half, which is still shorter than most. <sighs> I want this to be funny. I want Pig Got the Rhythm to be funny. It, it might. If if this whole game was just called Pig Got the Rhythm and not Clock <laughs> Simulator and clearly was going to be a different game, we still would have played it just based on the title. Mm -hmm. All right, Pig Got Rhythm. It puts rhythm in the word and we kind of have to play it. Oink, oink, oink. Oink. No, this is just pig jumping again. Yeah. Only one player. I, you know what? I play, I've played this game before. Uh, it's, uh, it's not, it's not jump rope. It's that thing you get, you put around your leg that acts like jump rope. Oh, you know, the skip bow. Yeah, skip bows. Yeah, it had the little counter on it too. Yeah. I, I had one of those briefly. Skip it, yes. Skip Sorry, it. that skip makes more sense. Skip bow is something different. What was a skip bow? Because it was the uh, it was the tail on to the ever popular. Uh, oh God, what was that thing called? The bouncing thing that had a, a plastic platform with a. Uh, oh, oh, the like UFO sides. looking thing. Yeah, and you like you'd squeeze the uh, the top ball with your feet and then Weren't jump those around. Those basically on. like the kangaroo balls. pogo balls. Pogo balls. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Skipbo is the shitty card game, if I recall. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. That does sound like a card game title. Oh, it was a commercial game of the uh, of the game Spite and Malice. Wow, that's a so much better name for the card game. Does it make the card game make more sense suddenly? I don't think so, but wait, wouldn't you rather go down to a, a card game shop and pick up a copy of Spite and Malice or Skipbo? Neither. <laughs> Did you want... To hop of pig. course, of have, course. Have hop it's pig. my time to hop pig. We have to, we have to do all the skip things it. twice. That's how we know that it's yeah, terrible. Yeah, skip it. Skip it's were way more fun than jump ropes. Your arms got less tired because your legs were doing all the work. Mm -hmm. There was some I really mean, shit. I really only had to skip it for like a hot minute because I managed to break it. Oh yeah, they were incredibly fragile. And now I'm just thinking of all the like things I used to play with as a kid, like like devil sticks and um, mm -hmm. uh, some weird like they called it a yo-yo thing, but it was like three different balls on a string yes. that you like. I know what you're talking about. I, I still managed own to beat mine. myself in the head a lot with. They were, damn it! I was paying attention too much to the talk <laughs> about the cool games. <laughs> Especially since like now that I've figured out the metronome. Uh -huh. I don't even need to look at this. Uh huh. Fuck. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. It, it did yep. real, real good. Not looking Fine. at the screen. Fine. 
Hey, Raiders, welcome to the show. We're playing uh, Clock Simulator, and uh, we're loading Ready to Run, and it's bad. This game is about as exciting as you expect it to be. Actually, no, it's not bad. It's... It's not good. You're making a very, um... Oh, I see. The green's probably you doing it at the right time. The red might be the too fast, too slow. It requires maybe more instruction. I don't know. Oop. Here comes that noise generator music. Quickly, the spirits of time might pop out. Maybe. I feel like we're making a messed up dartboard. still win. It darts on this board, I mean. <laughs> I mean, you've got all the time in the world, don't you? Woohoo! Ah, oh, hello, F Mr. Finger. You're here to, uh... Why is, um... Yeah, I don't know why that happens! Why is the KFC man's finger... Wearing a beard? I mean, I assume it's his because nobody else has a beard like that, right? <sighs> yes. Nobody out there in the world has a beard that looks like that. Well, in white. <laughs> I'm getting there. It's like two or three. That's a very good point, Sarah. Why did we get 48 for going all the way around? <laughs> oh, because... Oh, I only got 48 seconds out of the 60. Ah, yeah. there we go. <laughs> Well, again. I mean, you were going for a golf score there, yes, but. Yeah, the self correction is super hard. There he is. There he is. Just... Colonel Sanders. Why? <laughs> Are you here to say something? Maybe he said woohoo. Maybe that's him. Mm hmm And then... Wow. Just... I don't know why he's there. Just take a second to stare directly into those eyes. It's... Uh, I can't tell what emotion I'm feeling. Well, let's leave that for later. You wanna <laughs> let's let's test our skill. Sure, let's test our skill. You're under evaluation. Thanks. Oh, good. Another place for that to be the case. <laughs> Is this one of those self evaluations where uh, we gotta fill out evaluations for each oh, other? Oh, I hate this. And then this. and then we'll have a, a meeting where we're like, are you really sure that that score is correct? Yep, I was gonna say, like, I, I hate this because someone always takes the, uh, the those things a lot ser more seriously than I do, and it's always the person who asks, are you sure that's a score you would give yourself? And the answer is yes. I noticed that we gave you a sliding scale of five, but we believe here that nobody is perfect, so we don't think you should have put five down for everything. And so we, we're questioning the fact that you did that. And the things that you put down four on, you're, that means you're pretty good, but that means you still have room for improvement, which everyone does. So explain where your room for improvement can be. No, that's your job as my manager. <laughs> it's literally your job. God, I'm so glad not to work at places that do that yep. anymore. Oh, I had one where they, they basically filled it out, but we had like a management changeover. And so my last manager had actually done it but my meeting was with the new manager. So anytime that they were like talking about anything, 
I couldn't con I couldn't contest any of the scoring because she just kept saying, well, I mean, your last manager filled this out and I wasn't here, so I don't know you, so I can't actually contest any of the scoring. But you want to contest the scores because the scores are equivalent to what your pay raises for the mm -hmm. year. It's terrible. It was absolutely oh, the worst thing the ever. Worst thing. Ah. Anyway, game. This is a much better job. Or all I have to worry about is wearing terrible shirts for what I'm doing. Oh. Jubilee won the uh, the effect of uh, that you're seeing my shirt is the Moire effect. M O I R R E, I believe is the spelling. One R. Thank you. I'm glad to see they made improvements to this clock game within their own game much later on. Move everything's so fine. Wait, how long does this go on for? Oh, for that. Okay. <laughs> I found the fail point! Okay, wait, where you fail? If you, yes. The, uh, the shoulder buttons to the record scratch for this one too. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. Aww. I uh, I didn't. I didn't check out the settings. I don't know why they won't put the record scratch button on the shoulder buttons just automatically. You know, I hate calling video games a waste of time. But I think this one I might make an exception for. Oh, it keeps going. Great. Yeah, that's why I clicked on it really fast to find out like what the end point was. And every time you get the minus one, your hand gets shorter. Mm. So it's when you run out of uh, hand to hold time with. <laughs> you can't be a clock anymore. How do I hold all this time? With your hands. <laughs> Shonen protagonist's friends all step up. We'll hold hands together. Power of friendship time. Oops, here comes the clock. But <laughs> steal time from all the good children. 212. Yeah. Wait, no, 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 leave. Stop. <laughs> Time to go digital. All right. Let's try this. Clocks change. Time does not. I mean, time is a is is a construct that man made in order to try and make a thing happen. It's true, the world is always going to 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 do, mm. but but it doesn't like the spin of the earth affect basically how we count time and Literally, all those other things that do actually change slightly over time, so this is wrong. movement. Gravity will change time. Time is very much not... The Earth is slowing down, so even if it was... Even if the Earth spinning was literally a the way that we uh, saw time, that's getting slower too. Right, so this is a game full of evaluations and lies. <laughs> I liked it better when it was a click. The analog clocks are noisy. Show me where the bombs are! Wait, if you don't have a clock hand that gets shorter, how do we know when, you're, when your time is up? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we should be like 
copying ourselves in quadrants around from the screen from different <laughs> angles. Uh. I forgot there's a visual aid here. Is it flickering more? No, there is no visual aid. <laughs> that actually, the, that, the colon in the middle is actually flashing with where I'm pushing the button. Damn it! <laughs> I feel like the numbers are fading out. And maybe that's... Minute 15! Give it a try. Enjoy digital time. I see what you mean. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm doing perfectly every time. I understand now why you thought, because, yeah, the the thing goes in and out with whenever you push the button. <laughs> Worst. Oh, look at that. I lost. Oh, wow. Well, there's no more games. Nope. That's that's the end. How much theoretically okay, would so, we pay for this? Uh, this game was about five dollars Canadian on the eShop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think probably the closest thing to being what I would call a game <laughs> that didn't uh, have the clock things going on is this one. Oh, I was going to say the spirits of time because those that's definitely a That a actually game. feels like it probably has uh, an end point to it. <laughs> but I think uh Exyav is is probably <laughs> kind of, cuz it it feels like basically an endless runner with um with some inputs that you have to mm -hmm. put in. So that feels like a pretty good thing to be, whereas everything else kind of feels like a weird countdown. Well, I guess Dungeons and Aliens, yeah, but yeah. eh, it wasn't good. What else have we got up there? Last Pig Standing, I mean, that's jumping. Yeah, the, the Pig Standing one was not terrible as like a two-player thing. It's not the worst thing I've seen. I mean, this was a, uh, you know what? I'd say we got our money worth out of it. In terms of games that we have paid for and not gotten our money out of it, I think we are much closer to getting the full value out of this game than any other game we've bought. I think this is definitely not the worst game. No, no. This is not. This is not the worst game because I recall we had a game where we like we were playing and then like the uh, the the money grabbing oh, of it yeah. just like made us super salty. It's... So I'm not willing to put this game below that game. No, no. Uh, even though the other game was better in terms of being a fun game until the money stuff mm -hmm. started happening on the free-to-play, whatever. Well, we should read some subs. Yeah, let's read some and subs. And then maybe play a different game for the last hour. Yeah, take a break, figure out what game we're playing, and then be back for that. Uh, so let's start it off with our good friend Dicey, who's been here for 29 months. It's solid at the cafe. Ooh. Level new subscriber, welcome. Shadow Scythe 77 thank you so much for that 13-month resub. Made it a whole year and then some. Now, back to preparing for a job interview tomorrow. Good luck on your job interview, too. Yeah. Me top. Mit top. 17 months. Hey, me top. The Nerd Wonder, subscribing for 15 months. Thank you. Shinji16 for 31 months. Combined with the headphone cable, Ian's shirt looks like a professional IRL screen tearing. Wow. Oh. Jolly Slayer, brand new subscriber. Thank you. Also, brand new subscriber is JZ1011. Mm -hmm. Yoshikazu is a new subscriber as well. Thank you. Broken Golem. I. Th no, I don't think they're a new subscriber. I think they've been around for longer than that. But if not, welcome. It's a new renew. And here comes some bits from Earth and One with 376 bits. Did a currency conversion. This is your money back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Blenoik, first 14 months in a row, welcome back. Uh, yeah, I did see someone say this was a dollar Canadian on the Steam <laughs> store, so mistakes were made. <laughs> I I don't think mistakes were made. Nope. I Because, let's face it, time heals all wounds. Oh my god. And I don't know how else to force that in there, but I did now. And pin 0109, new subscriber, welcome. It's time to stop. And by stop, we mean take a short break, because we'll be back with more Rhythm Cafe for a limited time only after this. Don't go away.
Hello. Hi. We're 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 playing games. Well, Ian has gone to Ichio and found a couple of games that we've determined might be rhythm games. I live with Corey, and therefore I know about Ichio. And because uh, we didn't have a backup plan, and some of the games that we were like, oh, that would be cool, either are not here or we would prefer to do a full thing on. Mm -hmm. So now we're doing, we're in de delving into some some different game adventures. Um, let me turn on, turn up game music and put, take a look at mm -hmm. this um, Ushio Push. We'll, we'll figure out if this is a good game or not. This is the true story of Isamu Takao, the 34-year-old Oshia from Shinigawa, district of Tokyo, who received his life's greatest challenge. You see, however, all of his colleagues had called in sick, and Isamu would have to push all the commuters onto the train during rush hour. Push on, Isamu. We believe in you. Feito. Ganbati. Ganbati. Okay. Train's coming, get ready to push. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem that bad of a rush hour. He did it! You got all the passengers on the train. You got that S rank. I don't know that there's a rank other than S. There's ways to find out. Then clearly failing though. I don't know if you want to go that route. So, you're holding down the space bar in a beat that you think might be the right beat. Is that correct? Uh, was that blood? Yes. So are you moving the character around at all, or...? Yep, I'm using uh, the uh, enter key to... Uh-huh. Tap on the beat together. Hold the push passengers. Okay. Yeah. No! You did it! Even though there were definitely people who didn't make it on. Yeah. Cho very good! Yeah, see, there's the the A rank. Cho very good. That fell apart. So would, would you like to give this a try? I am fine watching. Okay. Hey, Beach! Come here! Ian's performing a service with the beat. Oh no! Give up on them. They're lost. Nice. Some of those people may be dead. That's blood. Yes. Sometimes it's gonna happen. Some, some, sometimes going to work it's really hard when you're on the bleeding edge of technology. Yatta! Natsuga. There is more than S ring. Nope. Can't go higher than S. It keeps happening. Well, because you've got, like, another five levels to do. Right. Five more trains until your shift is over. Oh wow, that shoving works great! I feel like 
This also may have been a good day to call in sick. Just let, let the people going to work sort their lives out. Boy. Boy. So I know this is supposed to be a real thing. With the whole, like, gathering, gathering and, like, shoving people and stuffing them on the, the thing to, like, capacity. Have you ever been on one? Never experienced this. I've experienced some trains where I, I like, they were stuffed enough that I couldn't move once I was on there, but... Is it just like, um, everybody gets off and then, like, re-enters on the next stop if it's that packed? Like, if you're, like, the only one who has to get off at that next stop, do you have to... I, I had to get out. It, there was a lot of sumima setting and jostling. Because I've been on the bus at times where it's just like it's very packed up, and you need to get off, and you're like the only person who needs off that stop, and you need to somehow get in between mm. people who won't move, and the driver's trying to wait for who to get off and and whatnot. I appreciate that every level I get, I'm uh, going down in. Rank. It's a long day. Oh my god, this is so long. That is accurate. Yeah. The doors close automatically on them too, right? Like, yeah. But there's usually like, isn't there like a noise that's like, oh, yeah. they stay clear? Oh, Chewy, inside. I spent a lot of time asking uh, Han Solo's co pilot to uh, encur be encouraged. I'm on I'm on a trajectory here. Next rank, F. But no E. Good point. We have to find out what all ranks exist within this game. We're stress testing. QA, whatever you do yeah. in the video game. Get inside. There we go. Oh, you got them all in. I just don't know where some of this blood is coming from. Because yeah. it happens sometimes even when the door isn't closing. Maybe which... it's probably coming from the train. Oh, yeah. Maybe we're actually just hurting the train.
Oh, one more! Yatta! We did it. <sighs> Damn it! Yeah, you broke your, your streak. Yep. God, how much more of there is this? A full day! A full day! You have two more. Two more train levels. And then and then I assume afterwards you can you can go to a, a bar and and have a hang out with your coworkers who didn't show up, so by yourself. Yeah, maybe it's a uh, Takeshi's challenge situation. Or I go to a bar and learn English. If anyone says they enjoy this more than Clock Simulator, how about you? The music is much better. Yes. The concept is interesting. But if I'm I not to... sure the gameplay is that much. That girl is going to have a bad time. Whoa, goodbye. <laughs> no, 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 do not go on the front of the train. That's a bad place, everybody. Come with me. <laughs> Inside the train is the only way. Also, based on what, what I've seen for train stations, nobody is ever, like, this badly organized on getting into a train. Yeah, generally the people know... There's, like, straight lines, usually. I mean, I didn't bonus, looks like. Uh, there was there was music in Clock Simulator. It was just um, very light and sometimes made by us by making a clock make noise. <laughs> More inside! Cram! 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 get onto the train while they're trying to push people on. Oh, I'm sure someone uh, has accidentally. You got one more. Oh, 20 bonus time seconds for the next level. So that'll keep keep oh. happening. That explains why the levels keep getting longer. I mean, oddly enough, you are floating above everyone during some of this perspective. Yeah, yeah. Clock simulator has a rhythm per se. You can't deny that. That rhythm is exactly 60 beats per minute. I mean, not the way we were playing it. Nope. Wait until you get to the uh, OSHA hold space. like a good life choice at that point. Yeah. Yeah. What a day, Isamu said. As he watched the sun set over Mount Fuji, all of his hard work paid off. The people of Tokyo would not be late 
for work on his watch. Not now. Not ever. Except for those who didn't make it in. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. The, the sun's setting over yes. Fuji? Yes. Yeah, that's this work, does that? No, that doesn't <laughs> work. Not for if he's in Tokyo. Exactly. That work. Yep. <laughs> that's what you're gonna get you. <sighs> yep. God. Oh, well, would you like to try a Oshia push? No. Okay. Not at all. That was, not, uh, that was not a good, even a good, good time. Thanks, uh, thanks in between games for uh, making that. That was a thing that happened uh, to us forever. That was the uh, Unreal Engine. Mount Fuji is. Is that even visible from Tokyo? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, depending on where you are. It, not, not from the ground level, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, next up, we've got uh, this game, which uh, looks like it's going to be f something fun. Right, this, um, what was this called? Uh, Non-Rhythmic Breakfast Simulator. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I assume everyone in the chat's gonna do exactly what. Uh, I think you died. I think that Vegan killed you. Yeah, I think it did! <laughs> Jesus! And it's, uh, it's, uh, still happening. Yep. Bacon, Bacon Cool! Broke. <laughs> Let's try it again! Bacon broke the game. So don't so, bite your tongue. Don't bite tongue. Eat clothes, don't bite tongue. So no, no, no extraneous bites. Oh, I see. You gotta keep your mouth closed for blood. And if you bite when there's nothing in your mouth, then tongue gets bitten. I mean, you really don't want to bite your tongue. It, it hurts. You now killed yourself yep. from the tongue bite. <sighs> tongue, well, tongue death. You see, you have to play this now. Yeah, I want to play this. So it's just space bar, right? Yep, just space bar. Don't bite tongue. Good. I leveled up. Hmm. Good work. I don't know what that means. R10 Pistons asking, yeah. what's the background to me? Well, it looks like it's changing. Oh, it looked like it was changing between uh, a cat toy and a man, but it's just a man it's in two different positions. A man doing different poses. Yeah. Someone's One. doing yoga while we have breakfast. Yeah. Splits and RAR are the two poses, I guess. I leveled down. You can do that? Yes. Wow. And now I'm <laughs> The game works pretty good except for the part where you die. Yeah. It's like they, they, they didn't think that would happen. It's like they decided that, huh, you're going to open this game, play it, and then when you die, you're going to quit the game and not reopen it. <laughs> They're incorrect. Ooh, although I did think of another game we could be playing. Oh? Yes. Yeah. Our musical wow. mart, uh, parade fun game on the iOS. Oh, yeah. The, um, the, the animal parade thing. Yeah. 
I assume we still have that. I'm pretty sure we do. We just need to get the, uh, the yeah. iPad. This one is amusing. Mm -hmm. ah. 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 Got it. Eat all the bacon and level up to a... No! Yeah, see, that's actually the part I have the hardest time with, is uh, remembering to keep it closed for for that one. I'm also super worried about, you know, pre-biting yeah. my tongue. Oh, yeah, yeah. You never want to go into breakfast with a pre-bitten tongue. No. Nope. Not with the orange juice. Oh, yeah, that, that would be bad. That ass, it'll sting. Wow. No. These weird sound effects. They've definitely chosen a variety. You see, Heather, anyone can make a yeah. game. Yes. Dude. Swallow more of the bacon. It's better that way. It's not like gum. It's not like gum. Bacon is not like gum. Bacon is indeed not like gum. Did you want to give us some? I want to give that one more. Okay, go. I'm gonna go find the iPad then. Okay. While you're while you're bacon not gnawing. Don't bite tongue, remember. I bite tongue. I won't bite tongue. You, you're with me, chat. We're not biting tongue. We're just biting the bacons. Getting some bacon bites. But no bug bites. Just bacon bites. Although, a health bar would be nice. A health bar and a very obvious way to exit the game without... So you can replay it without having to actually exit all the way. I think that's Those are the two... The oh, okay. Ah. Hey, Beach. Hello. I'm having breakfast. Non rhythmic breakfast. It doesn't even really go in your yeah. mouth, does it? Nope, but neither do those bugs. Except for that one. No! I bit my tongue to death. Aha! I know I said I wouldn't, but I lied! Welcome to the House of Lies. This is the place where promises are not kept. I was going to ask chat if you'd bitten your tongue. Well, I don't know about chat. I think chat's probably prob doing better on that front than I am. Uh, true, but, th but I, I, asked, I asked you not to bite your tongue. I agreed, but I, you also know this is the House of Lies, so you know that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> I mean, I, I hope. Sometimes I hope. All right. All right. Different game? Yep. Wait, no, that's not the passcode. That's my passcode. <laughs> that one doesn't work here. <laughs> All right. Did... Okay, good. Phew. I was worried people might have uh, cleaned up the iPad. Uh, try the one that's listed as Rhythm Cafe. No, there's. It was like right on that page. Oh, uh huh. A, I made a folder. It's right there. There we go. Because reasons. <laughs> it it was easier that way, and then people wouldn't hopefully delete any of those games. Oh, so, right. Ah, there we go. This is a game we played once. Uh, I think when we were playing, we played a bunch of games yeah, during it, that day. But... It feels like I'm coming home. Hey, this is a, a gorilla. Check out this Shiba. Whoops. 
That's a cow. Cat. I didn't know you could do that, actually. But the star of the game is our good leader. This person. It's a very good person. Yep. They have a very good outfit. <sighs> that you can clip right through. Anyway. This game had a couple of issues, if I remembered right, but it was fun. We've got some coins so we can unlock a coffee mart maker. Right, that's right. There was like a free-to-play element to this. We're in extreme mode here. We need to collect all bonus coins after a boss battle. <laughs> Wait. Ow! Oh! I'm remembering how this game works. Go for it. It's uh, it's all swiping, right? Yep. Such a Kavmari Damacy vibe to it. Chicken! Chicken! Oh no! Those are all our coins after a boss battle! Toast Girl! Toast Girl, you get there! You'll get there. You'll be on time. School will be okay. I got confused by the sheep. No! The UFO's coming for me! No! I got UFO'd. It sucked into the air! Forgot about the UFO until I saw it and then I was like, no, run away! We will not double our coins for ads. Nope. <laughs> you was coming for you, Ian. Oh, he went away. This looks like a boss. Space Channel 5. Uh, uh, technically the Owen Dawn games. Mm -hmm. Also the uh, Rhythm Heaven. Yep, Rhythm Heaven. Yeah, Guitaru Man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Lots of Rhythm games have UFOs in them, and, and, and I can name a lot of good ones, so I'm just starting to think that UFOs are like a good trademark of a good rhythm game. Plot Simulator had UFOs in that one game. Yeah, it did! Yeah, it did. Ow! Oh, you got hit by your directional sign. <laughs> End the parade! Oh, 
Oh, so I haven't managed to actually get either. Uh... Right, you gotta collect all the bonus points after the boss battle. Or we haven't hit, or we haven't hit the actual boss yet. No, the UFO, leave me alone. Sheep again. Goku's uncle. Sounds like the worst animal. money for this. That's right. That's why we weren't changing stages very often last mm. time. I remember. Well, let's do one more at the current stage. Or, or we could watch the end talk to the chat and turn off all the audio. 
Sounds good to me. Let's do let it. Me, let me let me go to the booth. Okay. Turn off the game music. Da, 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 Hi, da, chat. Da, 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 how you da, da, doing? Da, 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 da. There's like a 30 second ad chat, that we're like, not showing to would you. Would you like to know how to save your backyard or find out why a game is hard? Well, you too can pour, I guess, what appears to be olive oil on a barbecue fire and then set the sewer on fire with your uh, with your magic ray gun uh, uh, screwdriver. I don't think the dog should have been let out in but, order to help with the birds. Remember everyone, buy a dog if you want to get rid of uh, birds. The hammer thing to fix the sink didn't work. Okay, cool. We're done with that. I just remember really liking the music in this one. It's got the funk and also gorillas. And a cow. We still have to collect all the bonus coins. Ba, ba, ba. The no visuals matter would tell the camera not to move. Yeah, I think it's actually really funny that the uh, the Doug banner will come up and then the camera will move to such a space that it's like yeah. pointless. That's a big kitty. Hand check. Don't want to miss it. Yeah. You know what? I'd like to see a Pokemon spin off game that's basically just this for the Pokemon. Bigger gorilla. <laughs> there were Pokemon game there were mini games in Pokemon Stadium that were like this. I had Pokemon Stadium for the Nintendo 64. And I do I mostly just remember the Magic Heart mini game. I, Where yeah. the magic carp would flop a lot, you would try to get him to push like a counter or something. <laughs> Got a lasered. But you did the thing. I'm pretty which sure we means did. we we get new challenges. Yeah! Level nine up to level ten. Get five animals with only awesome. Collect an animal with when the blind, blind comes, comes in. in. Get a koala. Okay, well we're not getting the koala nope. right now. Get a koala park. I just want to get a kazoo and solo over top of this jam. <laughs> Like a human being making a cat noise. We don't need to do that anymore. I mean, we're gonna want coins for that's true. For other things, so. Like that's just a human being pitched up making cat noises. Yes. Like sometimes jobs are hard to come by. 
pretty sure that's a real gorilla in the soundstage. Maybe. game. That sounds familiar. I just want a bunch of Pokemon spin-off games. I'm more interested by those than the main one. There's, there's so many things in that world they can explore. It's a very, very well-realized world. <laughs> brother wants Snap too. Oh, lots of people want Pokemon Snap too. That needs to happen already. Also, they need to do an updated typing game. Because I said so. Yep. <laughs> the Switch is here, and, and we should be able to add a Bluetooth keyboard to it, so this should just be the error of typing games. Oh, yeah. And I know, I know I've said this before, but that's how you'll know if my plan to ever take over Nintendo succeeds is whenever they finally give me all the stuff that I want. Like, in 2019, any console that has a USB port and doesn't have a port of typing of the dead is a missed opportunity. That was rough. That zombie's hopping mad. Well, and that UFO was way too close. Maybe the zombie is, is uh, an alien disguise. Oh my god, we got five animals with only awesome and collected an animal while in blind. Now we just need to go to the park, apparently. And get a koala. Way too quick. I got bopped by that sign. Feels bad. They're heavy. So, if anybody is interested in like this idea, um, figure there must be some like. Mono friends cosplayers or some some other kind of like animal cosplaying thing mm -hmm. um to add to your cosplay to your group thing yeah get a bunch of these like colored signs and just do a parade cosplay couple, while you're at it couple friends with gorillas in gorilla costumes yeah all right so what does it cost for us to get to the park one ad shall we do it I mean, we could just spend a thousand coins. Yeah, let's do this. Like, we had five thousand coins. It's, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Like, the music is still even good here! So we gotta get a koala. Hello, turtle!
Turtle! One, this is a game that I cannot remember the name of. It's Her called Parade. Parade for iOS and presumably Android. for coin generation. <laughs> Tell what I was supposed to do. I think what they, what I like most about this game is how they've managed to make an endless runner a into a rhythm game, and b into one that I, I enjoy playing. Yeah, like it's got a good aesthetic. It's it's got some really good music, yeah. and it makes good use of the of the touch controls. Yeah. Big bird. My worries we might need an item active or something in order to get a fall off. I think it might come later. Cheating, those did not come out of your butt. Uh oh, UFO is the has noticed me. <laughs> you never want UFO Senpai to notice you. for us to, to cut the show at this point, even though it's a lot of turtles. Okay, that's, that's score thing. Yep. Oh, and meet new animals. Yeah, so... So, members? For Koala, you need the skate park. Yep. So, now we should be able to... Ah! Well... We'll bring this back then in the future. Yeah, we'll have to remember it exists. <laughs> oh, don't worry. 
I'll never forget this exists. Also, I'm glad you remember. There's a vibra slap. Oh, what? I, hammock, you can see kangaroo. Sound equals vibra slap. I bought it. <laughs> All right. That's let's, what uh, we wanted, that vibra slap sound. Let's let's welcome one of the last of our subs, like Mystic Spatula. Medic Turtle 13, who subscribed for 10 months. The boop na boop. For 23 months. Oaken Tree, brand new sub. Unremitting for 39 months. And VM Kid with 51 months of the belt saying, What are you ready to run off from the abbreviated to LRS Canadian sketch musical troupe comedy and video production team based in Victoria, British Columbia, founded the McGraham Stark and Paul Sutter, striking its miss. Starting from its launch in October 2003, a new piece of Sku Wikipedia. All right. Squikipedia. Uh. <laughs> sounds like a. Wow, hold on, I need to register a domain right now. <laughs> Thanks. And Lucha uh, Libro, thank you for that last minute sub. Thank you for coming to the Rhythm Cafe. Uh, Ian, where can people find you on the internet? You can find me over at Tilty House. That's at Tilty House on Twitter, slash at Tilty House on Mastodon, and on Twitch as Tilty House. That's T-I-L-T-Y-H-O-U-S-E. Heather, same question, different answer, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, similar places though. Twitch.tv slash LunarJ, LunarJ on Twitter. I, I'm in those places. Great. And of course, you can see the whole lineup of our shows here at VotingReadyRun.com. And if you want to support us, please do so over at Twitch.tv slash LunarReadyRun with your subs and your bits over at Patreon.com for that monthly reoccurring donation, which we really appreciate in all forms. And those of you who are watching on Twitch, remember, you can watch these VODs over at YouTube.com slash LoadingReadyLive. And those who might be watching this VOD on YouTube, remember we do these streams over at twitch.tv slash loading ready run. Yes, we are doing a very good job of this so far tonight, aren't we? Yes, we okay. are. Let's not jinx it. Yep, okay, so good night everyone. Uh, check the schedule at loadingreadyrun.com for the upcoming shows. Bye!